welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I, as you may or may not know, am the psychic medium. Yes, that's what some people call me. Because this is a live TV show, I can't tell you what other people call me. God, I cracked myself up. Okay, okay, seriously, seriously, welcome to the show, everybody. We're going to get started in un momento. The only Spanish I know I'm sharing with you. Don't, don't you feel good about that? Okay, so here we go. I am recording live with YouTube, taking callers at 845-277-9131. If you would like to call in and ask me a question, connect with a loved one up above, I would love to do that for you. Now, if you are calling in, please have an exact question about life, love, career, finances. Please do not say, can you tell me about my next six months? I can. Mm -hmm. I would love to, but that's actually a private reading we can do. Or if you say, give me any message, <laughs> you might not like your message because those are more of warnings or what you need to do rather than what you want to hear. And it takes a little longer than that. So if you can just have an exact uh, message that you would like to hear, that would be perfect. And if you want to connect with a loved one up above, I just need their first name and their relationship to you. Yes. Okay. And the next thing, um, what else is there? Oh, yes, please don't be scammed. I will never reach out to you and tell you, you need a reading. You've got a curse on you. I will never reach out to you and tell you that. I will not tell you to cash app or Venmo me. me. I don't have cash app or Venmo. I don't. I don't want them either. I don't. I have all these different places that money comes into me from. I can't add more. That just, that sounded so bad. <laughs> or good. Or good. however that sounded, it just sounded like that. Okay. Just don't get scammed. Okay. Don't, please don't get scammed. And guess what, you guys? Guess what? It has been a very long long time since I've done a live event and I have one booked. The link is is in the chat. If you're watching live on YouTube, the link is in the chat. It's also in the bio. Um, this is in Daytona at the Cinematique. Yes, Daytona at the Cinematique. I will be going live, doing a live show um, February 2nd. So uh, you can get information on my web page at the Cinematique or um, in in the in the in the bio. You can get tickets if you're in that area on that day. Um, yes, I'm super excited about that. Okay, I'm going to go to callers, and I will go between callers and questions on YouTube. So if you have a question and you would like to post it on YouTube, please. By all means, do. Hey, uh, Jay Francis, Jana, I'm so happy you're here, Jana. 845 um, 277 is the call in number. And uh, hey, Pine Lake Apartments. Um, and uh, I'll be going back and forth. So uh, before the show, right before the show started, I was answering a question for Jana about some lost joy. Jana, it's in the house you live at now, and it is upstairs, and I feel like it's in a box, but not like a moving box, um, like a maybe a box that opens, like I, do, I don't know. And it's not with the stuff that you just keep in storage, like the like a box where you have everything that's just staying stored away. It's more something, it's more in an area with things that you would use maybe 
I don't know how else to explain that. That's all I'm getting. And I'm really not good at finding things. I can't even find the things that I personally lose. So just please, please know that. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Going to the callers, I'm going to go to the first caller who is 347. 347, what's your name and where are you calling from? Brenda, I'm calling from New York. Hey, Linda, how can I help you tonight? Um, I wanted to know about like finances because I'm looking for work and it looks for, like a better job. So I wanted to know. Okay. First of all, first, Linda, stop. Don't just one second, sweetie. While you're talking, don't start mumbling. Keep your tone at the same the same tone because you started out strong, and then and then your voice went really soft. So I need you to stay strong. Stay strong with me. Speak strongly while you talk to me so that everybody can hear you, including me. Um, you're looking. You want an answer about finances, um, and you need work. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, love. Listen, a lot of people are looking for work. And the first thing I am going to say to you, my sweet, sweet girl, is you, if you, there's two things I'm getting, three things. First, you, it seems like it's been a while since maybe you have worked, whatever a while is for you. Second, um, there is a work opportunity coming where you are located. Um, you may not love this work opportunity. It may not be everything you want. And you may not be able to relocate right now. But if you can eventually relocate, you're going to be put in an area where you will get a much better position for much better pay. And I actually feel like that area may be down south, like uh, Georgia area. Um, it's a southern area. And I do feel like if you go into that area, you'll get um, a position that pays much uh, uh, better, like the cost of living, it will be so much more practical. OK, the other thing that I'm getting for you is the position that you're getting next. Go to. OK, I'm I I don't, uh, sweetie, I don't know what you do, but what I'm getting is go to the government. Job site for your area and look at what they have available. I do believe they'll have something available for you. The one thing I know for city workers, no matter where you start as a city worker, they will continually train you and move you up the ladder. No matter what type of position you're in, no matter what area, they will keep moving you up. So if you're okay with that, that's a really good place for you to start looking, okay? These are some of the things I'm getting. And look at all of the city or state, like the all of the gov city state positions available. That means like go to all of the, how do I say this? I'm going to tell you three different areas and then you can decide. Uh, it, I'm not saying it's one of these areas. I'm saying... It could be any of these areas. For, for example, the city and state police, like the sheriff and the city police, they have a lot of positions that are not actual police, obviously, that they hire for. Uh, the jails and prisons. I don't know why they keep going there with that for you, sweetie. Another one is just um, they have people that just do background checks all day that they hire just go to the gov sites and look at all the different areas where government 
workers, federal state workers work and see what's available. I feel like you're going to find something there and it's going to be really good for you and they will keep moving you up. Now, the good thing about that is once you're with a government job, first of all, they will keep moving you up. But second of all, if you ever want to relocate someplace else, you can switch from one municipality to another municipality and you'll be really happy with it. Okay. And they hire people with experience, without experience. They will train you. Um, they, they're not fussy about who they hire. Okay, love. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweetie. I hope this was helpful. Yeah, it was. Thank you. You are so welcome. I hope you have a happy holidays. And um, I didn't mean for that to sound harsh. I'm so sorry if it sounded harsh when I, you know, said the whole, you know, don't get quieter as you speak. The audio is really sensitive that I work with because, well, basically it's my phone. So there's that. Yeah. Um, Kavita, hi, Tony, would love a reading about love life. Thank you. Okay, Kavita. Um, you know, Kavita, I'm hearing February, but it might be a little bit sooner. There's a chance in December, but if not December, February. Um. I know, Kavita. I know. I can hear you. I I hear what you're. <laughs> I hear it. Um, I'm hearing February, but there's a slim chance it could be in December. Okay, sweetie. I hope that that really really helps you. I really do. Uh, if you'd like to call in and ask a question, the number is eight four five two seven seven nine one three one. I am going to go to, hey, Patrick, how are you? Um, Tristan, welcome to the show. Okay, Tristan, uh, please put um, your uncle's name, and I will get to that after the next caller for sure, okay? The next caller is 352. 352, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, this is Matthew. I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Matthew. How are you tonight? Hey, Tony. How are you? Mm -hmm. I'm doing good. Excellent. You want a message from Rachel, right? Yes. The first thing I hear is, I'm all right. Don't nobody worry about me. <laughs> Something, 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 something. Okay, so I don't know that song. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't know all the words to that song, obviously. Um, the first thing oh, I want to say... Um, yeah, give her a message that she was my first... When I saw her, she was my first true love. Oh, sweetie. Yeah, she knows. She says she knows that. She knows. What else, Matthew? Um, um, she's, um, I can't believe she could put up with me on, um, oh, 19 years. She says, stop it. So, Matthew, one of the things she's asking, um, don't make her. So I know this is going to sound weird, but when people pass, we tend to put them on a pedestal and she wants you just to remember her as her normal self. Don't um, idolize her. Just remember her the way she was. And that's the greatest honor that you can do for her. And she she knows okay. that you also put up with her for 19 years. And um, I don't. No, Matthew, um, she's mentioning Smokey or Smokey and the Bandit. I don't know if you guys watch that or if that means something to you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for confirming that. She's mentioning that and she's letting you know, just watch that. It, laugh, find things that make you laugh. Watch a lot of comedy. She's showing me the Clint Eastwood movie with the 
the orangutan. <laughs> I don't even speak with an accent, and I'm about to speak with an accent. The orangutan, <laughs> the orangutan, <laughs> is how it is really said, folks. <laughs> um, the orang. Uh, why can I not get that? Why does my tongue want to roll when I say that? It is ridiculousness. Um, the Clint Eastwood movie with the orangutan in it. Whichever movie that is, I don't. I know I have seen it, but just, no, I don't. Oh. Go ahead. I have no idea either. Well, whichever, it's an older one. Um, whichever one that one is, she wants you to watch that um, and let her, and to know she will be there with you while you're watching those movies, Smokey and the Bandit and the Clint Eastwood Orangutan movie. I hope that okay. makes sense to you, love. I hope it does. She also, um, wants to tell you she's going to uh be okay she's going to i don't know why this is important because it's further away and but she thinks it's important for you to know she's going to be there on easter which i mean there's christmas and new year first but she's going to be there on easter and she expects you to get up and get out for all of these things. Okay, Matthew? Yes, wifey dears. <laughs> He's talking to Rachel, not <laughs> me, folks. Okay, Matthew, thank you so much for calling in. I hope this was helpful, love. It, it is. Thank, thanks, Tony. You are so, so welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Matthew. Okay, I am going to go to the next question in the chat. If you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. And um, let's see, Tristan wants to have a message from Uncle Keith. Okay. Um, so the first thing that <clears throat> this a more a more serious energy comes in <clears throat> and i'm instantly clearing my throat like um i don't know if your uncle had like like a lot of phlegm in his throat or problems talking or communicating or even breathing because i'm feeling some <clears throat> some really weird things with my throat. So the next thing, the one thing that I would want to say that your uncle Keith would want to say is I'm sorry. And I hope that things are better now. I'm sorry. And I hope that things are better now. The other thing that your other, <clears throat> the other thing that your uncle Keith would want to say is don't, don't look back only look forward rear view mirrors aren't for watching the past they're just to make sure you can get over a lane and pull ahead oh that is so cute i love that okay and um that uh I, I, you know what? I'm going to say this, Tristan. I don't know really what happened, obviously, but I'm going to tell you everything I'm hearing. And if you could please do me a favor and confirm if you understand what these things mean, that would be a great help. It was a mistake, but I really love everybody. That is the message coming from your Uncle Keith. I hope that is helpful. I hope that that makes sense to you. And I hope it helps you in whatever way that it needs to help you. Um, if you have a question about your Uncle Keith's message, please let me know. But if the message made sense, please also let me know that. Okay, 
There's a problem with a blog talk tonight, you guys. Uh, the call in. Every time somebody calls in, they they get dropped right away. I see it happening. So we're just gonna do. Um, if you're in the chat, please put questions in the chat, and I will answer the questions. Let's just have a nice conversation here. Uh, yes, Karen, Kermit, Karen. Every which way but loose. Yes. Oh my goodness, that's the name of the movie. Um. Okay, Tristan. Yes, it does make sense. I don't think he meant to die. No, I instantly hear no, Tristan. He did not mean to die. Um, it just happened a very long time ago when I was a kid. The circumstances are still unknown. Um, well, I can tell you the circumstances were somewhat, somewhat accidental. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, I don't know what somewhat accidental means. I kind of can see scenarios in my mind where like I was doing this intentionally and then this happened and that, yeah. Okay. I get it. Okay. Um, Tristan, I'm really sorry for your loss. I really, um, I'm so sorry. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, Karen wants to know, um, anything from my grandma Elizabeth in spirit? Her marriage anniversary was 12-12. Uh, oh, that was, what was that yesterday? I think that was yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Your grandma Elizabeth. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> So I don't know if this is the grandma that you want to connect with or if this is a different grandma. But the first thing I get is that she was very feisty. Karen, is that accurate? Was your grandma feisty? <laughs> Spicy. El or la caliente. El caliente. I don't know if it's el or la <laughs> caliente. Karen says, yes, she was spicy. She is feisty. Um, well, we have her. We have the feisty woman here, the, fe the feisty grandma. She was very fiery, fiery, feisty. Um, she was very, yeah. Okay, the first thing she wants to let you know is it's time for you to let go and just push it forward. Just keep moving forward. Don't worry about I'm I'm going to say this in the way the way it's coming through and Karen, please let me know if this makes sense to you. Don't worry about what other people think. You just do what you want and you don't worry about anybody else. Um don't think you have to add here to other people's rules, play by your own rules. Now, I'm just going to say, Karen, when I do that, I tend to get myself in a lot of trouble. But maybe your rules are much better than my rules. <laughs> I don't know, Karen. <laughs> Are your rules safer and better than my rules? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Karen, she... <laughs> she also she also wants to say it's time for you i just keep hearing travel 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 just get out go have fun do what you can do and enjoy yourself that is what she is saying to you karen i hope that that's really really helpful i hope you enjoy that message um and it makes sense to you hey terry how are you i hope you're doing well today um, 
Uh, my pleasure, Karen. My pleasure. Okay. Um, Pine Lake. Hey, Pine Lake. Thank you for the photos. Um, should I run from or to a woman, Laura, I'm currently speaking with? That's a good question. Mm. Uh, should how uh, uh, Pine Lake, how long have you been talking with said woman? How long has this been go how long has this been going on? I almost started singing and then I said, no, don't 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 do that to people. That's not that's not good. A month. Laura, give me a second. Her energy is tough. Is she kind of? So I need to ask you a question because I know what I'm seeing. Have you met her in person? And did you meet her on a dating site? Because I know what I'm seeing. I know what I'm seeing. I just, you met her in person once. Okay. Okay. Now, usually I say this to my women, but I'm going to say it to you. Have you, I'm going to, I'm just going to make some recommendations here for just things that you may, you may want to, uh, I usually tell my women before you go out with a man, do a background check on him. There's something about this woman um, you need to do a background check. I know what I keep hearing. I know what I keep seeing. I keep hearing fraud. Now, this could mean legitimately committed fraud. This could also mean in some way she might not be being completely honest with you. Whether this is about her current relationship status, what happened in the past with her, but there's some sort of something going on that you are um, you're not privy to yet. You are not privy to this. Yeah, you will be. You will be, but we don't want you to find this out too too far down the line. I hear that song, too late, too late, gotta run for cover. I, I don't even know that song either. Man, these songs are so old. I don't even know. Okay. Anyway, so that's what they're saying about this woman. Uh, just do as much checking as you can on her. Find out what you can about her. And allow yourself to be in that space where you can um can honestly assess the situation and if you want to move forward i yeah really check i it, here where i am it's called ccap and it's a circuit court check i would check that and then whatever else you can run checks on i would do that i would just do that that's that's what I, um, yeah, hopefully it's not too late, right? Exactly. Um, you can, you get to decide if it's a deal breaker or not. That's, that's what I always tell people, you know, you get to decide if it's a deal breaker or not. Uh, Terry T wants to know, I'm single. Can I ask what's up with that? <laughs> I love you, Terry. Um, can't seem to meet anyone who's interested. Okay, I, I'm going to say this, love. I think you have met people that are interested in you. You just have not been interested in them. You haven't found that mutual interest yet. I do feel like it is coming in, and I get very strong February, March. I actually, I actually see February 28th into March third, second or third being a very strong time for you, Terry. I feel like you need to be out and about. I also feel like New Year's Eve is going to be um, 
good if you, whatever you do on New Year's Eve, Terry, I feel like you can't go wrong. You're going to be very, very happy no matter what you do on New Year's Eve. I'm very happy. Um, just, you know, don't have expectations. I feel like you're really going to have a tremendous amount of fun. Okay, everybody, I am going to actually cut the show here because I can't take callers. I've answered everybody's questions and I will schedule later this week another show and hopefully the call log will be working better. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. I'm so grateful for you. Have an, ama an amazing rest of the night. Mm -hmm.